Okay, please pause this video, read the question, and think about what the graph would look like. Okay, so in this problem they tell us that a population has, uh, that initially has 20 birds, right, approximately doubles every 10 years. Which graph represents this population growth? So if we look at our graphs, right, look at our choices here, I would definitely get rid of choice number two, right? This would tell us that the number of birds is decreasing each year, right? As time goes from 10 to 20, at 10, the birds are at almost five, but at 20, there's barely any birds left, right? The height at 20 indicates the number of birds. So the height's much lower at 20 than it is at 10. So we're losing birds here. And choice four, I would also eliminate because this would be a constant rate of growth. For example, at 20 years, look at the height, we're about, I'd say, 50 birds. So that's the input of 20, there are 50 birds. But at zero, there were 20 birds, right? At the point, is a bit point zero twenty. So that is how many years? Well, that's 10, 20 years. In 20 years, it only increased, right, from zero to 20 is 20 years, by 30 birds. But it's supposed to be doubling every 10 years. So that means after the first 10 years, instead of a population of 20, we should have 40, right? Which we almost do here. But then it, it should double again at 20 from 40 to 80. It should be a point up here, right? So let me um, try to model this with blue points. You can see what I'm talking about. So again, it's every, every 10 years, so I have 30 in there. Uh, at zero, it would be at 20 birds. And at 10, it would double to 40. And 20 would do double to 80. At 30, it would double up here to 160. And then at 40, it would go off the chart here pretty much. And you start to get this curvature, oh boy, drawn really poorly by me, right, to match the growth rate here. So this, this curvature, right, this exponential nature, the repeated multiplication or repeated doubling of the birds, you're doubling over and over again, you're multiplying by two over and over again, tells us that we have exponential growth. Now look at our two choices. There's some slight curvature in both of them. Let's see which one makes more sense. So here, at 20 years, right, we're at 20 birds. Okay, at zero, we're at zero birds, though. And right away, we know this can't be correct because we're supposed to start at 20 birds, which is what we have here. At zero, we're at 20 birds, right? And then at 20, the jump up is two doublings, right? It doubles every 10 years. So after 10 years, it goes to 40 from 20 birds to 40, and then another 10 years, it jumps up to 80, right? So this is doubling, and this curvature, you can see it here, drawn a lot better than I did before. This curvature represents what's called exponential growth, multiplying by tw uh, two over and over again. 